Hello and welcome to this webinar on building your extension on the Zoho Click platform. This is the first webinar in the Clicktrix 2020 webinar series. I'm Manasa from the Zoho Click team and I will be your host for today. Now before we start, please note that our team is available throughout the webinar. So in case of any questions, please do not hesitate to ask them. This webinar is also being recorded and the recorded version will be shared with you and will also be uploaded in our YouTube channel. So first things first, let us take a look at the agenda for today. We will start off with an introduction to Zoho Click and how businesses can use Zoho Click. We'll then move on to understand what Click extensions are and why they are helpful. Once that is cleared, we'll quickly go over the steps to build an extension on the Zoho Click platform. And finally, we will see a sample example as well and the best practices. All right, so let me give you an overview. Zoho Click is a business communication software aimed to make communication and collaboration in a workplace easier. So Click brings the entire workplace in one single platform. So it is easier to collaborate across different teams and departments, share your ideas and work on projects together. Another important aspect is since communication is a major factor in any workplace, Click allows you to automate everyday workflows thereby making collaboration a lot more convenient. Okay, so now you know what Click is. Now another important question to consider here is why is a business communication software so important and how is it helpful? So for an organization to move forward, there are two major things to consider. It is important that the employees are connected with each other in real time. And the next thing is, it is crucial to centralize your notifications, your team updates, and all your workflows in one place. This makes sense because you end up spending a major chunk of your time communicating and collaborating. So centralizing all your workflows and channelizing your automated notification alerts in one single platform makes sure that everyone is updated. So how can Click help with these two requirements? Now with channels, audio video calls, video broadcasting, screen sharing and reminders and all of that, Click makes sure that you are connected with your teammate and with everybody in your organization no matter wherever you are. And the Zoho Click platform helps you automate and centralize your workflows. So the Click platform here is built entirely on top of Click, thereby providing the basic infrastructure and the necessary components to develop an extension. You can build your own custom extensions or choose to build an extension that integrates Click with any third party application that you might be using in your workplace. So we've been mentioning Click extensions a lot and Now's the time to understand what these extensions are. So let's take the literal meaning of what an extension is. Now an extension is just an addition or a part that is added to an already existing product. So that is exactly what click extensions are. They are simple software applications built on the Zoho Click platform, which help you extend or customize Click's capabilities. Another good example here is Google Chrome extensions. So the platform and the ability to build extensions are useful because you are at liberty to integrate Click however you like and choose extensions from a variety of options in the marketplace. And these extensions are basically a bundle of all or few of the platform components so an extension in Click can have a slash command, a bot, a message action, functions, schedulers, and databases. We have a detailed description for each of these platform components and the videos are already available in our YouTube channel. You can go right ahead and check that out. However, let's have a brief introduction. So let's start off with slash commands now. Slash commands are simple shortcuts that you can use to perform different operations or tasks. You are basically commanding the system to perform an action for you on your behalf. The command can either pull some information or get data for you and push it to another application or to a storage platform. So we have an example here of the slash YouTube command. Now, if you, if you want to look for any video on YouTube, 
all you have to do is type slash YouTube followed by the video name and this will pull up the list of video suggestions. Simply select on the video that you are looking for and share it directly on chat. Next up is bots. So bots are virtual assistants in Click which can also double up as a notifier. You can use the conversational interface in a bot to perform an action for you and the bot notifies its subscribers about any event update or trigger on, on the third party service that it has been connected to. So here's an example of the Zoho Desk bot. So this bot notifies of new customer tickets that has been added in Zoho Desk. And another great example is of the Zoho CRM bot. So this bot helps you whenever there is a new update regarding a particular lead or if a deal is closed. And this bot instantly sends an alert so everybody is always updated. So next up we have message actions. So let's take a look at what message actions are. A message action is just a custom action that you can perform on a message. Custom message actions can be dependent on the type of message. For example, you can enable a particular message action for only messages of the type text or you can enable actions for messages of the type attachment. So if it is a message of the type attachment, so in this example here, we have a message action that is enabled only for attachments. So you can use this action to upload files that are shared in Click directly to Google Drive or to Zoho Docs or any cloud storage platform that you might be using. Another great example is a message action for the message type text. So you can, you can easily add this message as a note in your CRM or you can even add it as a task in Zoho projects or any project management software that you might be using. So with that, let's quickly move on to functions. And functions in Click are specifically associated with buttons and forms. So when a message contains a button as a call to action, and the user clicks on the button, the associated function is triggered to give out a response. So let's say for example, you want to conduct a poll and gather votes. So you can use the poll message card with buttons and uh, users can click on these buttons to cast in their vote. So this in turn triggers a button function that takes the count of each button that is being clicked and counts the total number of votes. Next up is functions that are associated with forms. So whenever a user submits a form, there, this in turn will invoke the associated function to perform a necessary action. So that is functions for you. And we have schedulers next. Schedulers in Click are just simple triggers that perform timed actions. The scheduler can be set for any time interval for the given configuration. And, and a great example here would be a scheduler that reminds you and your team to update your weekly status or a scheduler that brings in the team's tasks at the start of the week. So moving on to the last and final component, which is Click Databases. Databases in Click help you manage voluminous data that you have at hand to perform any basic CRUD operations, you can use the Click database deluge task. So you can even use the Click storage REST APIs. So these are the platform components that can be bundled together as an extension. And now that we've seen what each of these components are, let's jump right into the general requirements and the steps you should follow to start building your extension. So the first and the most important step of all is analyzing your use case. Your extension should serve a purpose and provide a solution to any common pain point or even provide a solution that might help a workplace with their day-to-day -day activities. For example, let's take everyday workplace activities. You might have to set up meetings and book a conference room for it. So people use different applications to book a cab amongst other examples. So what if you could come up with a general office extension that helps you bring all these activities right inside of Click? 
You could have a bot that helps you book a conference room. The same bot can simply ask a series of questions such as time, date and the purpose of the meeting. See if the meeting room is free and book it for you. And the same bot again can also book a cab for you and inform you whenever there's a courier or if you have a visitor at office. So now this is a scenario where you can automate everyday workday activities that applies for everybody. Another example is specific for people who are a part of the marketing team. So you can consider creating an extension that helps the marketing team with automated reports for their ad campaigns and all of that. This extension could have a scheduler that posts weekly reports in a channel so the team can discuss about these reports and see how the campaigns are performing and they can infer together and collaborate on it very easily. It can also have a slash command that can pull stats on demand and this will be helpful when you're having a conversation and you want to share stats instantly. So this is how you can analyze a use case and you can come up with requirements. Again, this is the most difficult and the most important step for building your extension. So doing this will give you more clarity into how you should proceed with your extensions idea. The next step is to choose your extension components. So you've decided what you want to build and how you are going to proceed. In this step, you should be zeroing down on what components your extension should have and also get started with deluge and the click deluge objects. So for example, say you want to add a task right from click. In this case, it helps if you analyze what goes into adding a task. So you might need a task name, you might need a very brief description, you might have to add a deadline, you might want to assign this task to somebody. So all these details might come in handy when you want to add a task. So when you want to collect all this information, it is best for you to analyze how easily you can collect it. So and which platform component you can apply. So it is best if you invoke a form and you have the user add all these details in one go. Now that is how you can analyze how you can use each component and we have a very easy guide here on when you should be using what sort of an ex what sort of a platform component. So you can create a bot to post instant alerts uh, via webhooks and you can give user access to data with instant menu actions and also if you want to perform conversational actions you can create a bot. So a command should be used more like a shortcut that pulls some information and forms come in useful when you want to collect a series of information from the user in one go. And message actions are helpful when you want to create an instant work item from a message. You can create a task, you can create a message as a task, you can add a note for a message, you can convert a message into an issue. So if you want to perform an action on a message, you can do all of this. And finally, schedulers can be used to post timely reports and notifications. So that is your guide to use each platform component effectively and you can take note of that. So once you've figured out what to build and how to proceed, the next step is to start building it. So it helps if you have a sample workflow for all your components functionalities. So another key factor is also to consider handling appropriate error messages. So this helps the user know what went wrong and what they should be doing to fix it probably. And the last and final step once you've built your extension component is to bundle them up and publish it. So you can choose to configure the extension handlers if you would like and publish it or you can directly publish your extension. And a major factor to note here and to consider is how effectively you test your extension. So right from installation to error handling, you have to absolutely ensure that everything is handled. And that is how you can go about building your extension on Click. So here's a very quick recap of what we saw in this webinar. We started off with a, an introduction to Zoho Click and how businesses use Click. 
We moved on to an overview of click extensions and what they are and how they are helpful. After that, we covered the steps to build an extension on the Zoho Click platform with a few examples and best practices, of course. So I hope this webinar gave you an idea of how to get started with your app. Thank you so much for joining me today. The webinar video will be available to you on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can search for Click Tricks and subscribe to the channel there. And of course, follow us on Facebook. Click Tricks is our Facebook page name. So thank you so much once again. See you soon. Bye bye.